Hey guys, it is Cole here, and in today's video, um, this is gonna be one of those, like, highly requested videos, so per popular demand, I will be answering the question, is the Cincinnati University, or University of Cincinnati, or whatever, is that team for real? So, I mean, Cincinnati is a team that a lot of people consider to be the best non-Power 5 team in college football. I mean, minus, like, Notre Dame and BYU and all those independent schools that are desperate for money. But, yeah, I mean, other than Army, because Ar Army's good. Army's good. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today, and make sure to subscribe to my channel, Bobby's channel, and John's channel, and we'll get you guys in the video. Alright, so as I said before, I will be answering the question, is the Cincinnati football team for real in this video? And that's the college one, not the... Not the Cincinnati Bengals who lost to the Bears. So, if I were to make a video on that, the answer to that would be no. But, that's not what we're doing today. So, yeah. I'll be answering, is the Cincinnati college football team for real? So, let's get into the video. And I will start by stating the, like, the results of each game that Cincinnati has played so far. So, yeah, let's start with that. All right, so I pulled out my handy dandy device here, also known as my phone. So, yeah, um, I will be looking from my phone and I'll be telling you guys the scores for each game. Also, by the way, this video is being recorded on a Saturday, so happy college game day to everyone. And, yeah, Cincinnati's on a bye, so no games going on for the Bearcats this week. So, yeah, the first game was a home game against Miami of Ohio, and they won that 49-14. to So, pretty good win there. Second game of the year, also at home against Murray State, home of John ja Morant. And they won that one 42 to 7, but actually the game was tied 7 to 7 at halftime. And Murray State is an FCS team, so. And then lastly, they played Indiana, which was their first away game of the season. And despite some early struggles, they did win 38 to 24. Next week, they have Notre Dame. You know, you guys know my feelings about about Notre Dame. But yeah, um, and then going down the line of their AAC schedule, they have Temple, UCF, it's going to be a pretty good game there, Navy, Tulane, some people think that Tulane might be pretty good, uh, Tulsa, South Florida, SMU, and East Carolina. So, that is the AAC schedule for Cincinnati this year. So, now I'm going to actually answer the question, is Cincinnati for real? I think, are they going to win the national championship? I don't know if I would go that far, but I think, I mean, especially with 12 teams in the college football playoff, there is a good chance that Cincinnati can make the 12-team college football playoff. I mean, out of all of the non-Power 5 teams, minus like Notre Dame, Army, BYU, and all of those other independent FBS teams, I think that Cincinnati is legitimately the best non-Power 5 team in the country. They have a good quarterback, by the name of Desmond Ritter. And I think he's a pretty good running quarterback as well. And, yeah. I mean, I think this team is pretty good. 
I mean, they're going to get a really, really good, or, I mean, actually, no, okay test against Notre Dame, but, yeah, I mean, if you guys are, like, confused in any way about why I'm saying, like, Notre Dame is just okay, A, just okay is not okay with AT&T, but also, um, just check out my past college football-related videos, and you'll sort of see why I hate Notre Dame. So, yeah. Uh, moving on from that. So, yeah, they have Notre Dame on the schedule, which I think is probably their toughest test. And then let's just see. I'm going to scroll through here and see out of the AAC games that I named, which ones might be the toughest tests. Uh, UCF. UCF is a pretty good team. They have Dylan Gabriel at quarterback, and they have a good offense as well. Um, I think Gus Malzahn is their coach, who used to coach at Auburn as well. But that's a home game. That's a home game for Cincinnati. Uh, Tulane is on the road. I mean, Tulane played Oklahoma close, so that's I don't. That might be an interesting one. Uh, home against SMU. SMU's pretty good, but I think that, I think that Cincinnati should win that, especially because it's at home, and then East Carolina, here's the thing, East Carolina is actually maybe better than a lot of people expect them to be, I'm, like, it's sort of scary why I know a lot about these teams like East Carolina, so, their quarterback is Holton Ehlers, I think. And I think he's lefty, just like me. So, that's pretty cool. And then, yeah. So, honestly, I think that Cincinnati should still win that game. But might be closer than some people expect. So, we'll see. I mean, honestly, if I look through the schedule, Cincinnati absolutely has the potential to go at least 10 and 2. So they're 3 and 0 oh so far. No, I mean, Notre Dame's going to be a good test for them. That should be a really close game. But I think Cincinnati has the team skill level to go 11 and 1 in the regular season. I do. I think also that they can probably end up winning the AAC as well. I mean, they're a pretty good team. So, yeah, overall, I think these are my main thoughts about the Cincinnati college football team. Let me know what you guys think about them down in the comments below. I mean, if you guys know anything about them. Like, well, I mean, okay, I'm not insulting you guys, but, like, I'm just saying... Let's just say my family. I, I'm specifically spe specifically speaking about my family, which does not pay attention to college football other than Miami. Right, Dad? Dad? What, what's the Miami score? Oh, it's like 49 nothing. We're winning over Central Connecticut State. Yeah, um, so let me let me know what you guys think about Cincinnati down in the comments below. And that's all I've got to say for this one. So with that, we will see you guys in the next video, which will most likely be a Glenbard West hitters video. But for now, peace out.